Hey there, should you use serapeptase with your clients with endometriosis? Let's dive in and find out. Hey there, everyone. It's Jessica Drummond here from the Integrative Women's Health Institute. And we are all about helping women's health and wellness professionals create perfect practices for them and their ideal clients. So let's jump in. Today, we're going to talk about a really hot topic and the kind of message boards in the world of endometriosis healing, especially more natural and alternative healing for endometriosis. And one of those supplements that's being touted as kind of a miracle for breaking down um, endometriosis lesions and adhesions is serapeptase, which the scientific name is actually serato, serotinopeptidase. And it comes from a bacterial enzyme in the silkworm called Serratia E15, which is used by the silkworm to actually fully break down and digest its cocoon as it's turning into a butterfly, which is really a beautiful image and a beautiful protein. So this protein, serotidopeptidase, is has been found in a number of studies on oral surgeries. And if you think about kind of, you know, the back of the mouth, there are some tissue similarities there in the gums and the connective tissue to the inside of the oral cavity that are similar to the pelvic cavity and the abdominal pelvic viscera that we're often, uh, our clients are often dealing with in endometriosis. And what this enzyme has been shown to do is, first of all, it's analgesic. It lowers pain sensation. It's also anti-endemic, which means it reduces swelling. And most interestingly, it's fibrinolytic, which means that it actually can break down the fibrin fibers, those sticky protein fibers that can cause lesion, uh, the lesions to adhere to things, adhesions. Um, and so the, there's good and bad to that. So there have been a few studies published that just on, you know, random cases, but there isn't a huge breadth of literature on this topic in general. So it's important to keep that in mind that some people with oral surgery who actually had an abscess and infection who took serotidopeptidase that serotidopeptidase broke down the fibrin, the fibrin kind of capsule encasing the infection and can actually help it to spread. So we have to be careful in any kind of active infection, but when there's no active infection, we're just looking to minimize pain, swelling, and adhesion, this is potentially useful. There are no studies specifically in endometriosis, but you know, anecdotally, there is a lot of benefit according to you know, people with endometriosis. And we use this in our practice in a number of ways that are generally anti-inflammatory. For example, we use it with the supplement uh, Inflammatone from Designs for Health, which also has other anti-inflammatory factors such as relatively high dose curcumin. Um, it's used in general in digestive enzymes such as pro-digestion intensive from uh, Seeking Health or Clara Labs, uh, Vital Zines. It's also seen in, in the Interface product, which is a product that breaks down biofilm as we were kind of just talking about around infections. And sometimes we want to do that. So if we're dealing with biofilm infections related to SIBO or CIFO or gut dysbiosis, that product can be helpful. So while the hot topic is often on serotidopeptidase, Wobenzyme is actually better studied in endometriosis. And, and visceral surgery in general. Again, not a huge breadth of data, but there are a few studies. So first, Wobenzyme, which is another product, another uh, product containing multiple proteolytic enzymes, although not serotidopeptidase. It has other proteolytic enzymes that have similar function. And the first research in this product was done on people with osteoarthritis. And again, found to be analgesic, so pain relieving, 
equal to non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs without all the digestive side effects. So that's really beneficial and cardiovascular side effects. Um, also studied after animal models of laparoscopic and visceral surgeries, also found to have decreased adhesions because of decreased angiogenic factors. And then in 2015, in a study published in the Journal of Endometriosis from an Italian lab, Wobenzyme was used for 40 to 60 days pre-op and then 60 days post-op also found to have similar results. Lower, more analgesia, lower pain scales, less swelling, uh, lower inflammatory and angiogenic factors, which are normally promoting those post-op adhesions. That study was done in 30 women with relatively less extensive endometriosis. It was stage one and stage two. Um, but again, we have a specific study related to that, and this was a randomized controlled trial. So there are a few ways that you can use proteolytic enzymes away from food, usually about two hours away from food. So they'll, they'll have this activity on the immune response to surgery rather than just digesting the food um, to help reduce pain, inflammation, swelling, and break down potential adhesions or reduce the angiogenic factors that can contribute to potential adhesions. So I hope that's helpful for your endometriosis practice for supporting women pre and post-op, uh, some really valuable tools that are read readily available. All right, have a great day. And if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.